In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And after he had made man and woman, he saw that it was very good. Even after all this, man took what God created and broke it. They disobeyed God, and in their nakedness were ashamed, and were cast out of his presence. The effect of sin, disobeying God's will, didn't stop in Eden, but continued and lingered in the hearts of man. What did sin do? It made separation between us and the Lord. Yet God had a plan to save us. He revealed himself, showed his power and might, and showed that he was worthy of fear and worship. He showed that sin was worthy of death through judgment and his holiness, and made men tremble and worship to him. But this would not last long. Time and time again, they turned their hearts to God, after realizing the wages of their wickedness and their resistance to him. God saw us, and even when we broke his heart, he listened to our repentance. He remembered his plan and wanted to reach out and provide a way back for us to him. He came to us, became one of us, lived and was seen by us. He made the lame walk and the blind see. He fed the hungry and he healed the sick. After all that he had done, after the love he showed us in person, we rejected him. We took him and beat him. We whipped him, tortured him, took nails to his hands, nailed his body to the cross, and then finally killed him. What God would allow such a thing? The same God that came back to life again in his power over death and told his disciples to spread his word, saying, I am the way. He gave his words through his disciples so you could know all this he did for you. You never deserved to know him. You never deserved to be forgiven. But he did it all by grace for you, that you might believe in him and save your soul. You don't need to reject him anymore and you don't have to be indifferent to your sin anymore. To live in the emptiness of separation from him. He has called you to life in him, and he will give you rest. 1 Timothy 3.16 And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory.